Firefighting in Canada This Week is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. In this edition, we take a look at this year's wildfire statistics across the country. Then, Prince Edward Island announced new supports for the province's fire service. And Landmark Fire Hall opens Manitoba's first safe surrender site for newborn babies. As this year's wildfire season ends, let's take a look at the statistics released by each province and territory, and some of the contributing factors to this year's numbers. On average, about 6,000 fires burn around 2.5 million hectares each year in Canada. BC, Alberta, and Saskatchewan saw heavy rainfall from the beginning of this season well into June. The wet spring was beneficial for wildfire mitigation, Melissa Story, a provincial information officer with Alberta Wildfire, told CBC News. In BC this year, over 1,700 fires burned and around 133,000 hectares burned. The 10-year average for the province is 1,403 fires. CBC News reported that Alberta saw more than 1,200 wildfires this year that burned 153,000 hectares. This year's wildfire numbers are slightly higher than the five-year average of 1,035, but less than the five-year average of around 280,000 hectares burned. Saskatchewan surpassed its five-year average in both fires and hectares burned. There were 443 wildfires this year compared to the five-year average of 379. Manitoba saw 224 fires burn 168,870 hectares this year, which is less than half of the 460 wildfires that burned in the 2021 season. The province's 20-year average is 468 fires. The province of Ontario saw 268 wildfires this season, which burned 2,587 hectares. The province's 10-year average is 825 fires. In Quebec, 389 wildfires burned 242.9 hectares. Moving over to the Maritimes, New Brunswick had 209 wildfires this season, which burned 171.2 hectares. The 10-year average here is 273 fires burning 473.2 hectares. Nova Scotia saw 3,374 hectares burned by its 129 wildfires. Prince Edward Island saw two wildfires this year. The province's 10-year average is five fires. Newfoundland had 101 wildfires burn 23,886 hectares. The 20-year average here is 118 fires with 22,993 hectares burned. In Canada's north, CBC News reports that the longer, warmer fall has led to more fires than average in the Northwest Territories and Yukon, at 257 fires burned. The Northwest Territories also saw 680,000 hectares burned, which surpassed the 5 and 10-year averages. Nunavut had zero wildfires reported this season. Prince Edward Island has announced two new initiatives to aid the province's fire service. The Department of Justice and Public Safety is investing over $1 million in emergency preparedness with local fire services in the province. Each of the 35 departments will receive a one-time grant of $20,000 through the PEI Firefighters Association to help with the purchase of life-saving disaster response equipment such as chainsaws, portable lights, and other safety equipment. To ensure reliable communication interoperably between fire and emergency services, the Department of Justice and Public Safety will also be providing the PEI Firefighters Association with a one-time grant of $300,000 to purchase radios and backup batteries to replace seed radios. Environment Energy and Climate Action, in partnership with the PEI Fire Marshal's Office, is distributing emergency generators to fire departments across the province for use in island communities. Local fire services can use the generators as part of their operations and communities can use them to set up more emergency reception areas or to meet other needs of their residents through the local fire service. Landmark Fire Hall is set to open Manitoba's first Hope's Cradle Safe Surrender site. These sites are for any mother wanting to surrender their newborn child. Hope's Cradle provides a temperature-controlled bassinet and documentation that informs parents of their rights, how the process works, a form to send in medical history, and a list of resources. Once the door is open, the parent has two minutes to place the baby in the cradle and vacate the site before a silent alarm is sent to first responders. Susan Penner, Executive Director of Life Cultures Canada, told Steinbeck Online that Landmark Manitoba is located 30 minutes from Winnipeg and Steinbeck, with many communities in between. The desire to pick a rural yet accessible location comes from research from Hope's Cradle, which found that parents are more comfortable surrendering their children in rural locations due to the perception of anonymity. The $20,000 needed to install the cradle will be raised through Life Culture Canada. The site is anticipated to be up and running by January 2023. Thanks again to VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Stay tuned for our next episode on Friday, November 25th.